What is up guys and gals, how's it going? It's I, One Eye Crow, and I'm back for another video. It's been a while since I've done any video with my actual, like, face and, uh, you know, the usual unboxings, of anything other than gameplay. And today I'm bringing you another statue unboxing, and this time it's a DC statue unboxing by Jim Lee. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Also, by the way, if you guys hear any children in the background, they are my kids, they are present, and kids will be kids. I'm just gonna let them be, they're playing and having fun. So hopefully you still enjoy this video. So let's get right into it. All right guys and gals, just wanna let you know that these um, boxings are actually more like reviews. I don't know why it's unboxings. I already took the boxes off of them just to make it a little faster, not make these videos too long. Um, but it's pretty much just gonna be the statue in front of the camera. I'll be, you know, talking about the, uh, you know, the quality. Um, I'll be talking about the character, talking about the uh, sturdiness of it, the quality. I think I said quality already. I don't know if I said it, but I said it again. If not, um, or if I did, I said it again. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have fun with this figure or statue um, for a little bit and look around at the details of it and all. And uh, it won't be a very long video, but like I said, there will be no box. So let's go ahead and get into the statue. All right, guys and gals. Well, here is the statue. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys know who this is. And it is Catwoman. This is the Jim Lee series of statues that uh, he created. It's a very, very beautiful statue. It's Catwoman with her cat next to her. And this base is a very lightweight base. I'm going to go ahead and take her off of it just so we can talk about the base first. Here we go. As you can see, the base has a lot of detail around it. A lot of cracks. A lot of, like, stain and everything to make it look very, like, old and worn. All across the base to the bottom. And then you have the top of it, which is just textured to be, like, I don't know, rough cement mix with some light gravel or something like that but it's very very textured let me see if I can actually show it in the camera here it has a very textured look to it it does have a few bumps that are raised up in, this, in, in into this or on it I'm sorry I'm having a hard time today um, these are also textured they're carved into it so you actually have grooves that are in there bottom of the statue just says Catwoman statue, limited edition, GameStop, Chronicle Collectibles. The cat looks fairly good. You can see her stretching there. Legs up front. Eyes looking up. You got the mouth right there. It's also textured to make the fur look like it's actually fur and not just something smooth. You got her tail, back legs. And that's pretty much what... I mean, that's that's the base. And the base is very, like I said, very light. Like, like it's hollow. And then you have the peg hole right here on top of the statue. And where Catwoman goes in and stands perfectly with that being that. that with that being that is what holds her. I can't even say. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really off of my speech today. But uh, it happens to everybody. And I like to have my videos to be straightforward. I, I have minimal editing any type of videos and uh, I'll keep it as it is so let's go ahead and bring out Catwoman you got her wearing her goggles you got some of that hair coming out the sides well out the side one side got that bright red lipstick you got that cowl that head piece there with that rubber, rubber band oh my god with that stretch band going around to hold the goggles in place you can see like the wrinkles of her I guess turtleneck for her costume and you got the uh, little choker collar looking ring there you see the seams in between her uh, her bosoms there you can see the line work the uh, wrinkles to show that it's cloth that it's it's movable on her goes down shaped right to into her body on the side you can see those same wrinkles representing the parts of her arm that are either muscular or where they're movable. It's not a movable statue, but it's just, you know, giving that image up. Um, you got the belt 
which is actually, I believe, is a rope. It's a rope belt. And then you have her boots, her legs, pretty much the same thing. Got a couple of wrinkles on the back there. And um, you got the peg on the bottom that gets put on the stand. And let's go real quick into her gloves. You got her gloves there, same type of thing. Gives a texture, wrinkles, make it look like it's a... Uh, Movable fingers, but they're actually not so just giving it that look and um One thing I could say I wish that they did put on her would have been like her whip or something like maybe maybe right here hanging off her belt Her whip or more on the side over here But hanging off of her and just have like the little pieces hanging off and actually make it where it's uh bendable because the Batwoman Or is a Batgirl? I think it's I can't remember. I think it's Batgirl and the Batman in this in this gym line series have movable wiring so you can move it around bend it and all that to make it have the look you want to have you know wanted to have and i wish they would have included that here that would have been pretty neat um other than that all you do is you just place her in the peg as so and then and there you have the whole piece beautiful piece by the way beautiful piece i actually got this for my birthday from my lovely wife and kids they actually got me all four of them. When I, I I found out there's one more, and I think it's a Harley Quinn, which I need, but I cannot seem to find her anywhere. I've searched for her online, and it says they're not available online. I've searched in stores, and they're not in stores. So uh, if you guys uh, know of one, please let me know. I would love to try to purchase that Harley Quinn one to complete them. But um, I have the other three, including the Joker, which will be the next video. So you guys be on the lookout for that. And... um. I believe when I went online to check for the Harley Quinn, I saw this one on sale. I think it was a sale for like $29, $29.99. And it's not bad. It's definitely worth the price. And the Batgirl was actually on sale for like $10 something, which I couldn't believe. It. I think it, I don't know if it was clearance or sale, but $10 something. And my wife and kids actually went during a time where the more statues you got, the more percentage you took off. So all the statues came out to a steal. And it's so worth it. So make sure you guys are always checking out those deals and those sales that are going on at GameStop. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all it is. I'm going to put a few pictures that I'm going to be taking with some music um, right after I'm done speaking these words. So I hope you enjoy it. Anyways, guys and gals, that's all I have today for you on the Catwoman statue by Jim Lee. GameStop exclusive, limited edition. I really do hope that you enjoy it. And if you guys see one of these in your stores and you're a Catwoman fan, I'm suggesting you guys pick it up. It's worth it. It is a beautiful statue. It looks beautiful underneath my LED light um, on my cube shelf. It is a wonderful piece to own if you are a Batman fan and you are a fan of Catwoman. So make sure you go check that out. I already see that I have a piece of dog here. There. Sorry, guys. I have a white dog who sheds a lot. So if you see some of the hair on there, I do apologize. But anyways, guys and gals, once again, this is Catwoman. DC Jim Lee statue from GameStop. A limited edition. So if you guys see it, pick it up. Especially if it's like 29 bucks, I would recommend to pick it up. And use those power-up reward points if you have any. You know, knock a few 
dollars off of your purchase or just look for them in sales. I love you all. Remember, you guys are all wonderful. You're amazing. Don't ever, ever let anyone make you feel like you are less. And if no one's told you that they love you, well, let me continue to be the one that says I love you. And on to the next video. Remember, guys, it's always good vibes and good times. And I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.